What's up everyone, Jammy Say here, back again with some more WWE Champions content, and this video we are going to do a bit of gameplay on one of my own characters, which will be Dakota Kai. Um, so for anyone who watched my talent up video, you will have seen I took her six silver. Now, while I admit I do not exactly have the optimum setup for her, which we will go into as I go through our setup, um... I do enjoy using her, and she can still do decent damage, so I thought I would just put a bit of gameplay video out for anyone who is interested, uh, and see what you think. Uh, so let's get into Dakota. So she is a modern era aggressive trickster. Trainer ability, trap gems do 50% more damage, and moves that generate traps will generate two more at 26k. Uh, links, she has the Smackdown link for any color moves, start with one more MP. The damage control link, so blue moves, start with eight more MP. And the modern era link, so gems do 5% more damage. Uh, and just the standard set of gear. Uh, into the moves, <clears throat> we are going to run triple black. First move is 4MP, the running drop kick. Deal 127,934 damage and choose a 3x2 area to swap into purple gems. The scorpion kick is a 7MP move. Let's open this up so we can see the full description. Deals 153,962 damage and choose a 4x4 area to make into trap gems. If broken by you, deal zero damage and make seven random gems into black gems. If broken by your opponent, deal uh, sorry, 280,057 damage. <coughs> and the third move is the bicycle kick, is a 7 MP as well. Deal 156,843 damage and increase the damage of all of your gems by 35% for one turn and it does not affect bonus damage. So into the Entourage, we are running Xavier Woods for black moves start with four more MP. Uh, King Nakamura and Zombie Edge both do black gems, do an extra 12,000 damage each. And that Motu Ray for purple gems doing 6,737 more damage. Uh, Ray, obviously, once you get to 21k, does 12,000 the same as Nakamura and Edge do. Um... A little note for this, if you use this setup in Feud, you would likely have to drop Ray uh, and put in Santa Hogan if you have him with the extra 1 MP. Otherwise, you will likely be dropping Nakamura for a black MP trainer. Um, <clears throat> or you are turn 2. So... Let's get into the gameplay. We are going to go out on the road against China. And let's see what kind of damage we can pull from this. Oh, I'm an umpty. I just realized I didn't show you the straps up. It's all right. We'll do it before we go into the actual match itself. So I have a 20% gem damage strap. Uh, I'm running... A single set of Fury 2s and a single set of Takedown 2s. Now, obviously, the optimum setup for this would be double Fury 2. Um, however, I don't have a move defense medal that does any black percentage. <clears throat> so, as it turns out for me, um, the Takedown 2 setup, I can actually do more black gem damage than with a Fury 2 setup. So, that is how I am, and then I have on the plate the DX Army Assault plate, so whenever you break three or more purple, make seven greens into black gems at the end of your turn. And, obviously, for anyone who has the Dominator's Drip, that would be the absolute key plate to put in. Uh, the Dominator's Drip, so that you, every time you activate a black move, you make seven random gems into multipliers of strength seven. 
uh, which is only going to increase the damage you're doing. So if you have the drip plate, most definitely the best one to put on. Uh, right, so as we were into the actual gameplay, so we're going to hit the bicycle kick first, increase our gem damage by 35%. So we're now looking at 77,000 for every black. Scorpion kick, lay out the trap gems. Now the idea is to try and get as many of these as possible. And then we lay out the purples. So here we've got the six, so we're hitting nine of these. And the reason I say hit as many as possible is obviously it fills the board out, but then when the refills, you get as many of the blacks on the second shot as possible. And that did 5.9 mil damage before reductions. Even better, being a trickster, she dodges. So China does nothing. We are fully loaded and we roll again. So again, increase the gem damage by 35%. Chuck the traps out. Um, where are we looking at? That's going to be a good spot. That'll pick us up nine. Take out nine of the traps. That leaves us another, what was it, seven. And that was five million damage. And that's going to keep China down. But yeah, as I said, so obviously, I mean, that's doing five mil with a single Fury 2 and a single takedown 2 with some black move damage. Um, if you've got the drip plate, you're adding in the times seven multipliers. You're going to get a two, if not three um, sets of those laid out. So there is definite, definite potential in there. We'll run one more just to have another look and I can try and go through that so again black we're initially starting 57.5 we hit the 35% again if you had the drip plate you would immediately get seven multipliers uh, we're 77,000 lay out the traps again after this you would get another set with the, with the dominators drip uh we'll sling it in the corner there and then we lay this one out and again you would get after this a set of multiplies so that would blow up now like as i said i don't have a dominator strip so i'm not 100 percent sure on if it lays out before the move sorts itself or as soon as you activate it i believe it's as soon as you activate it So, again, cycle and repeat, simple three button. Uh, that's going to go in there, pick us up another nine. One, four. And that's five, nearly 5.5. 5. So my Dakota is hitting in average anything between 5 and 6 million. So you can imagine, as I said, with the drip plate, with the optimal um, metal setup, you can properly get that running. So that is going to be it for our little preview of Dakota Kai. Um, thanks for watching guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, uh, like the video, hit the subscribe button for more content. Uh, feel free to share it with your friends. Uh, and in the meantime, keep jamming and have a nice day.